because everybody knows Sean is. Yes, Sean Thank is you. an absolute legend, and he has kindly agreed to save my bacon and step in. You know what? A lot of people say that they come up to me and they go, "You're a legend." It's like in the states, legend I think has a little more weight than it does here. I think you throw that term around a little loosely here. We do. If you get me a particularly nice sandwich, you're a legend, mate. Lovely. Exactly. Yeah. 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 See, I could buy you a sandwich and I'd be a legend. There but you go. You, you you are a bit of a legend. You in the in the convention scene, in the horror scene, you've you've done a lot of cool shit. I do. A, I've, I've been doing it for a while. You, you I'm are. old. I'm old. So Sean is like an agent for appearances. But he also has Horrors Hallowed Grounds on YouTube, which is, will you explain what it is? Uh, basically, I've been doing it for about 20 years now. It's a show where I go back to filming locations of famous movies um, and sometimes bring cast and crew with me and talk about what it was like making those films and, you know, and interesting stories and whatnot from them. And, and uh, I started doing that. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Scream Factory over here. Uh, Oh, he knows it. Yeah. Uh, I, know you, I know Arrow picks up a lot of their stuff over here. And some, um, some of your stuff is on the Studio Canal John Carpenter releases. There you go. Yeah, Studio Canal uh, has picked up a lot of those Scream Factory releases here. So that's where I started doing the episodes. And then recently, during the pandemic, I started a YouTube channel, which is Malfunction, and uh, started doing a podcast called The Thing with Two Heads with Christopher Nelson, who is... Uh, you guys might know as a Academy Award winning special effects makeup artist, did all the new Halloweens. Uh, he, he's the current shape maker, if you will. Those new masks are flipping incredible yeah, as well. Yeah, he did a killer job with yeah. those. And um, so we started a podcast and it kind of took off and I started uploading my old Horrors Hall Grounds content and then uh, started doing a bunch of new episodes. I've kind of gotten the, bu the bug again, if you will. Um, and the know. new episodes have been good. I met you did American Werewolf. Was it last year? I did, or did and I got a ago? lot of shit for saying that it was Wales, England. <laughs> I, I didn't know where the hell I was, uh, but uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, the American Werewolf one came out recently. Shaun of the Dead I put out recently. I, I came over to the UK, did a bunch of episodes. Uh, the next one from the UK is Slaughter High. Okay. I did Slaughter High, and. Uh, one that's going to take a, a hell of a long time to edit is Clockwork Orange. Yes. Which, uh, we went deep on that. My buddy Rich over here, uh, he's the one filming right there. He, he's been in a lot of the episodes with me. He's been, uh, he and I have been hitting up a lot of the uh, UK locations. He's a local. And uh, so anyway, um, yeah, with his help, I've been doing a lot of UK stuff. And then I went over to Toronto uh, the past couple of months, I went back to Toronto. My buddy Scott on tape, I don't know if you're familiar with his channel. We shot a bunch of episodes in Toronto. We just did uh, American Psycho. Um, we did The Fly, Cronenberg's The Fly. I have Black Christmas coming out on Christmas Day. The original or the... Of yeah, course the original, come on. I've got a soft spot for that 2006 remake. Uh, well, you're not perfect. <laughs> um, and then, uh, let's see, what else we got? Class of 1984 coming up. Uh, we did Prom Night. Uh, I just did the Dawn of the Dead remake. Uh, I, I really like that one as well. I know, I know we don't all love the remakes, but I really like that one. It's a great remake, and it was a fun episode. A lot of people, I, a reason I never did it is people said that the mall was torn down. But it, and they only tore down part of the mall. So is that so, Canada? They filmed that in Canada? Toronto. Toronto, yeah. <laughs> so, got a bunch, bunch of new stuff coming out, um, and uh, yeah, I think, I think Slaughter High will be next, which I, I, I don't think that many people knew was shot in the UK. I, until you just said it, I had no yeah. idea. I, th I always thought it was an American film, but... So, it, well, we don't have high school over here, it's like senior yeah. school, comprehensive. Yeah. So, you just, oh, obviously, you were involved with H45? Yes, yes. In fact, my buddy over there, Steph Hutchinson... He directed the Halloween 25 Years of Terror documentary. He did a bunch of the Halloween comic books. He's standing right over there, sipping his water. Is everybody a Michael <laughs> Myers fan in the room? <laughs> Steph, throw your hands up. Put your hands up, Steph. Steph wrote the Halloween comics. Yep. And directed? Directed Halloween 25 Years of Terror, a documentary we did together. Um, we met at the 25 Years of Terror convention 20 years ago, wow. 2003. 
Uh, and then since then, I've did the 30 years of terror, 40, or 35, 40, 45. So yeah, we just did 45 years of terror a few weeks back, and it, it was bonkers. I was going to say, I seen, obviously, Neil went, and I Neil seen was there. the yeah. social media footage. How was that weekend for you? Did, are you just busy the whole time? <laughs> it, was a, it was a hectic weekend. It actually went smoother than prior shows. I brought Horror Hound in to help run it. Yeah. Um, so they were responsible of more of the, uh, the actual technical aspects of the convention. As you guys know, it's not easy to put on one of these things. Um, and then in addition to that, I was also doing the Horrors Hall Grounds bus tours, which was a lot of work. I saw um, the footage from the bus tours. That was intensive. Didn't the police turn up at some point? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, I, and I knew that would happen. Yeah. So on my tour, I had two buses of about 60 people each, and we showed up at the VA hospital where they did the uh, Halloween 2 hospital, and it's also Rob Zombie's um, Smith's Grove Sanitarium, and I knew the cops would come because it's private property. It's a VA hospital. Uh, so we showed up, got out, did as much as we could, and literally as we got to the very last spot, the two cop cars pulled up. But it was okay. He was cool. He just lectured us and let us go. That's it, it, it went exactly how I hoped it would. Now, on these bus tours, I noticed a few, I would say celebrities have turned up to be on the bus tour. Yeah. So who turned up to, watch, or to, to be guided around by yourself? Well, Dick Warlock came on my bus. Uh, well, that sounded odd. <laughs> He did not come on my bus. Um, he, he went on the bus. Yes. Um, and, uh, and then Spencer from Ice Nine Kills, he actually just, he tagged along. That, that was what I was thinking. I couldn't believe that. Just seeing you guys yeah. wandering around there, Spencer Charnas just yeah. mixing oh, it up. We're buddies, you yeah. know, and I, I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm in a couple of the Ice Nine Kills videos. We got was, any Ice Nine Kills fans? Yep. I was in, I was in the meet and greet video and I was in the... Uh, uh, welcome to Horrorwood. I'm, I'm the reporter, Chatty Cathy, uh, Bill Mosley calls me. So when you go back and watch those videos, look out for Sean. Do you know what else I noticed you in? Tales of Halloween. Oh yeah, yeah I was in Tales of Halloween. A very small part as James Duvall's buddy. Yeah, it's like, has everybody seen Tales of Halloween? Tales of Halloween? Yeah, it's a fun movie. I mean, it's, uh, I enjoy it. It's, a, it's an awesome yeah. little, little anth horror anthology. There's some great segments. Yeah. Who directed your segment? My segment was directed by uh, Andrew Cash and John Skip. Okay. And uh, Andrew Cash, a lot of you may or may not know, used to film all the Horrors Hall Grounds episodes. Oh. Um, well, but he used to, he filmed the first couple and then became our editor for pretty much the whole run of the ones we did with Scream Factory. And uh, since then, he went on to becoming a professional editor and a director, started directing... Um, I think it was uh, Legends of Tomorrow. It's a cool show. And The Flash. He did yeah. some Flash. That's all up in Canada, isn't it, as well? Yeah, Vancouver. They yeah. shoot them in Vancouver. But yeah, so, so Andrew got legitimately busy. So That's the champagne problems, isn't it? It's yeah, good, and now, work. you know, with technology, the way things are now, I do Horrors Hall Grounds on my own. I just film myself. I edit it myself. Uh, you know, that's less standard YouTube bullshit. It's a lot of freedom, though, to do what you want, how you want it, and it's a lot faster as well. Yeah, I mean, I do it for fun. I'm not a YouTuber that's trying to get clicks and putting up content, and that's how he makes his living. I have a real job, which is why I'm here. Um, I do it because I'm a fan, and I do it because you know, I'm passionate about it. So that's why you don't see as much stuff being uploaded by me. It's, my stuff is spread out. You yeah. Know. It's, it's, when it's to your own schedule. And I think it's quality, not quantity. That's it. And that is why Sean is so good at his job, because he's a fan first. Yeah. That's why you got into it. You, it, was, it was passion. Absolutely. I just, I'm a fan that got lucky, and uh, doors opened up, and I walked through them, and here I am sitting on stage in, in, in the UK. It's bizarre. It's good, isn't it? And I, I really appreciate Thanks, you Thanks, Jenna this. Jameson. <laughs> Was anybody here for the love of horror 2021? Did you see my panel with Tom Atkins, the legendary Tom Atkins? Where I was the interpreter. Sean was the interpreter because Tom's hard of hearing and couldn't understand my accent. Yeah. So, so I basically sat on stage here next to him 
And as he said something, I would lean over and go, he wants to know what it was like to be in Halloween 3. And Tom would, you know. So I was an interpreter yelling at him. But what was crazy was obviously the, the questions from the audience come out of the, the, uh, the monitors here. You he could hear that absolutely perfectly. Just couldn't really hear me. I'm, I'm, gonna t I'm not going to take offense. I'm not he, he was, you know, he has trouble with the accents yeah. and he reads lips a lot. Yeah, and I'm so. there with the microphone just completely yeah. covered. He's such a lovely guy. How was he doing? Was he at H45? Yeah, he was at H45. He's doing great. Actually, this weekend, right now, he's at uh, Monster Mania in, uh, they're in Oaks, Pennsylvania this yeah. weekend. So he's at another convention right now. That's cool. I got other people watching over him, yelling at him for me <laughs> so he can hear them. He wants to know yeah. about the fog. Yeah. Is it, do you ever have any pinch me moments still? Like, is there any, like, obviously hanging out with Atkins? He's just, I know he's your friend now, but like, do you Pin ever look at yourself? Pinch me moments. Uh, I mean, obviously the Jamie Lee Curtis convention was one of those, you know, uh, I don't know if any of you saw the documentary her sister made called The Night She Came Home. It was on the Halloween uh, DVD and Blu-ray. It was basically me with her, um, at her one and only convention appearance. And that was a pretty surreal moment, you know? I mean, I knew her, but didn't really know her, know her until that weekend. Um, and uh, we've been friends ever since, you know? She was supposed to come to H45, was literally scheduled to come until the Wednesday before she pulled out. It's a long story, but it was SAG related. I was going to oh. ask, how has the Screen Actors Guild strike impacted you this past summer? Honestly, it hasn't impacted me a single bit with the exception of this show what Christian Serrato's having to cancel. Ugh. Beyond that, it has not impacted me at all, um, except for the, the, the Jamie thing. But that wasn't announced, yeah. so it wasn't a disappointment. No. So it was going to be a surprise. It's been okay. Yeah. I, I was sort of dreading the panels this weekend because... I don't know if you were with the strike, they weren't allowed to promote past projects or talk about anything. So it would have been literally, what is your favorite packet of crisps? Yeah, exactly. The other pinch me moment was a couple weeks ago, I got Ozzy Osbourne to do his first convention ever. So that Does was Does everybody cool. know that Sean is Ozzy Osbourne's convention agent? They do now. Did everybody <laughs> know do. that Ozzy was doing cons? And he is keen on doing one in the UK. Oh, that's interesting. So, would anybody want to meet Ozzy and the family? Yeah? Okay. There's, I, I don't know if that was loud enough. I don't, know, that I don't know if he'd want to come for that. Do you think that, we would, that Sean should bring Ozzy Osbourne to the UK? Okay, that's, that's a little, better. That's a little bit better. Okay, I'll let him know that that was, that was better. I mean, it wasn't great. Yeah. It wasn't great. No, but yeah. I, to be fair, I think Ozzy would kill... Yeah, one of these. No. Is, is the Osbournes, the family, the show, are they popular here? They were, the show? yeah. It was huge. So, like, everybody, you'd want to meet the whole family, Kelly and Jack and Sharon. Yeah, they're Sh all cool. Sharon was, like, A-list TV presenter over here. It was X Factor she did. She was, like, on weekly mainstream television. She was a huge, she's bigger than Ozzy at one point, I think. Well, she was the one I was most terrified of because I'd heard she was, yeah. I heard she was tough. But she was a sweetheart. I mean, she was the nicest one of all of them. I mean, Jack's become a good friend. He's a buddy. But, I mean, she was, she was sweet. She was really easy going. You came up in the music business as a youngster, like I did, when you heard that Sharon Osbourne was absolutely terrifying to deal with as a manager, and she ran Ozfest and stuff. I think she's mellowed out in her old age. Probably because she hasn't got to deal with her husband biting the heads off live animals every week. There's that, too. So, but no, that was a surreal moment. That was, uh, you know, you keep thinking, oh, I'm never going to be able to top that. Like the Jamie Lee Curtis thing. Well, how am I, am I ever going to top that? You know, and then something like that comes along and you're just like, wow. You know, how, how if you would have told 13-year-old Sean when he was, I saw Ozzy Osbourne in 1983 on the Bark of the Moon tour when I was 13 years old, that I would be sitting with him at a convention and managing him, I would never have believed you, you know? It was a pretty amazing moment. Is he retiring from performing? Is that, is that the story? He really wants to perform. It's, it's his, he's got back issues. Yeah. He's had multiple surgeries. Um, he's doing everything he can to, to, to get back out on that stage. It won't, he'll never tour again, but will he do one-off shows? They're hoping he will. Well, you know, only he's 
at this point, you know, he was hoping he would be ready. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, he was scheduled to do a show in the U.S. Uh, it was called, um, oh God. Was the it the No More Tours thing? When he was no, there? it was a one-off show. They did, it was like Metallica and Guns N' Roses. There was Tool and, I think it was supposed to be Tool and Ozzy, ACDC and Judas Priest. I don't know. Anyway, it was three nights in a row, all these mega bands. He was scheduled to do it and he thought he would be ready. And unfortunately, the recovery time has taken longer than he thought. It's a shame. I, I'm, I love Black Sabbath, but I do prefer solo Ozzy. Was the song, remember Perry Mason? I thought that was a banger. Yes, there we go. Who we need on the case? Perry Mason. And also, a little bit sacrilege, I think I prefer Dio Sabbath to Ozzy Sabbath. I know, I know. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I love Dio, man. I love Dio, but yeah, but come on. I know. It was just different, wasn't it? It was just really different. Very different. How was Ozzy doing with the cons? How did he, he find that? He absolutely loved it. Sharon told me going into it, his absolute favorite thing through his entire career was doing the record store signings and meeting the fans, that he loves it. And he did. He, he, he absolutely loved it. He wanted to keep going. Like, wow. Like, we would be like... I think the first night he went over three hours past closing. Wow. And we kept saying, are you sure you want to, we can stop. And he's like, no, let's get through it, you know. Wow. Yeah. I think you should definitely have conversations about that. I think everybody would want to meet Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Sean. Yes. We're running out of time. Has anybody got any questions for Sean that they want to ask? Before we get out of here. Before, no, before we covered I it all. Drag him away all. from to do his actual job. <laughs> They have nothing prepared. No, this they, is, are, they are in shock. They didn't even know you were here. <laughs> no, I know. It's unbelievable. I appreciate you just you know, asking me to come up here and do this. No, no. Do you know what? I, I wanted to do it in 2021, and that's why when Atkins suggested it, I was so excited. Because it's obviously you're, you're an icon. Doing what I do, you, you've done this, and you do that with, with so many legends. So it's nice to speak to you and interview you and hear your side on things. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And if you see me around, come say hi. I have, I have stickers as many as, until I run out. So, Make sure you check out Horrors Hallowed Ground yeah. on YouTube. Subscribe. Malfunction on YouTube. I've, I've only been doing it since the pandemic, but we're like 600 subscribers away from 50,000. So let's hit that number. Come on. And just tell them you want to get me on the thing with two heads. That, that's what I... That'll do it. That'll put us That'll over. That'll put them over. That'll be exactly <laughs> it. Guys, give us a massive right. round of applause. Thank for you. For the one and only Sean Clark. <laughs>